Welcome to the video tutorial on Newton's Laws. <clears throat> in this problem, we're going to analyze a block sliding down an incline, including the effects of friction. The problem reads, a 10 kilogram block is sliding down a 30 degree incline with the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the incline being 0 0.250. They want us to find the normal force the plane exerts on the block, the force of friction, the weight of block along with its perpendicular and parallel components, and the acceleration of the block. And it's noted in bold to first draw a picture. So let's go ahead and draw a picture. I'm going to go ahead and draw my incline plane. I'm going to label it 30 degrees to the incline, and I'm going to draw my box. I'm also going to say 10 kilograms for the mass of the box. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and start labeling some stuff. Well, first off, I know that the weight is pointing straight down. So if I draw, I'm going to draw a vector arrow pointing straight down and label it weight equals mass times the acceleration due to gravity. I also know that in order to keep the box from either from staying on the plane and not going through the plane or flying up in the air, the plane must exert a force onto the box. And we'll call that the normal force. Finally, because friction is involved in this problem, I know the, blocks, the box is going to slide down the plane Therefore, the force of friction is going to oppose that motion, and so I'll label the force of friction. So, the first piece we need to do is find the normal force the plane exerts on the block. In order to do that, I have to first uh, break this vector, the weight vector, into its parallel and perpendicular components. So what I can do is I can draw a dotted line down this way and across, and I know that this angle is 30 degrees. If this is 30 degrees, the adjacent side, I can find this piece is m g cosine theta. And then I can find the opposite piece as m g sine of theta. Now what I know is, because the box isn't sliding through the, uh, directly into the plane, like so, or flying up into the air, that the sum of the components going on that direction must cancel out. Therefore, I have two components, namely the normal force and mg cosine theta. And because I know that the box isn't accelerating in that direction, the sum of those two forces must equal ma, which is zero. Therefore, the normal force equals mg cosine theta, which when we plug in our numbers is 10 times g times cosine of 30 degrees, which comes out to be about 85 newtons. Okay. Next, they want us to find the force of friction. In order to calculate the force of friction, we need to use the friction formula, which is the force of friction equals the coefficient of friction, kinetic, times the normal force. The coefficient of friction was given as 0 0.250, and we just solved the normal force of 85 newtons. So when I go through and solve for that, I get a friction force of 21.2 newtons. Next, they want us to solve for the weight of the block along with its perpendicular and parallel components. Well. The weight of the block is just mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So for part C, all we have to do is just do weight equals mg, which equals 10 kilograms times the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second squared, and we get a weight of 981 newtons. perpendicular component, if we look back up the diagram, we already solved for. That's mg cosine theta. So the perpendicular component is just the 85 newtons we already solved for. The last piece is the parallel component. The parallel component is what we talked about in class is the sliding force. I'm going to circle it right now. It's that piece right there. That's the piece that's responsible for accelerating the block down the hill. If you notice from the diagram, it's the piece that's opposite of the angle. So to find the parallel component, I'm going to label it force parallel, using the two lines that represent parallel. It's mg sine of theta. Again, it's sine of theta because it's opposite of the angle. 
going through and plugging in 10 kilograms for the mass, gravity for g, 9.81 meters per second squared, times sine of 30 degrees, I find that the, the sliding force, or also known as the parallel force, is, comes out to be 49 newtons. So, just with gravity acting alone, gravity is pulling uh, 49 newtons down the 30 deg degree slope. Now, the last piece we want to solve for is the acceleration of the block. Using Newton's second law, we know this. The sum of the forces in a certain direction must equal the mass times the acceleration of an object in that direction. Well, let's go back up and look at the, the forces in that direction. In this direction, we have the sliding force, which we just solved for, going down, and we have the friction force opposing it. Therefore, the sum of the forces must be equal to the sliding force, which we just solved for, so I'll call it force parallel, minus the force of friction, because the force of friction is pointing in the opposite direction. And again, that must be equal to the mass times the acceleration of the block. So plugging in for the force parallel and for the force of friction, we get sum of the forces equals 49 newtons minus the friction force, 21.2 newtons, and that equals the mass of the block, which is 10 kilograms, times the acceleration of the block. Going through and solving, subtracting 21.2 from 49 and dividing by 10, I find that the acceleration of the block is 2.8 meters per second squared. All right, well, I hope that helps you uh, solving a pretty typical Newton's second law problem with a block sliding down an incline with friction. Stay tuned.